in the first instance, it should never be that we have hordes of officers coming up from Trinidad to terrorize Tobagonians. That should never be the case. That should not be how they operate. There must be a measure of respect with how they do their duties. The THA chief secretary said the behavior of the licensing officers was nothing short of disruptive to the motoring public. We are seeing people turning up with tickets for, for minor things that we believe discretion could be used because they are discretionary powers. Um, in the spirit of the law, there are discretionary powers assigned to the officers, and that seemed to not exist in Tobago's case. It seemed like there is a mad rush to try to break some record in terms of the amount of monies collected through these tickets, and that is not how we operate. As a matter of fact, what has been happening for the rest of the year, all year, throughout the year, um, and the officers, why aren't the officers more visible during the year? It should not be once per year you, you show up and you show up during our peak season. You become very disruptive in how you do the work. You disrupt traffic along our narrow carriageways. You indiscriminate in how you apply the law. And, and you think that's okay. That could never be okay. Augustine said the licensing office at Chauvin is not efficient and an operational office is lacking at the Roxborough Administrative Complex, which the THA intends to address. He said a letter would be dispatched to Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan on the recent operations of licensing officers in Tobago. This THA will not be cooperative with the execution of duties in that manner. I, I am aware the, the Secretary of Infrastructure is preparing to dispatch a communication to his colleague the Minister of for, with Responsibility for Transportation in Trinidad um, on this particular matter. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.